off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends Wanna see the breakfast I just made myself? It is 11, what time is it? 11.45, I eat pretty late. This is actually pretty early for me to eat, but I was very hungry. I didn't eat very well yesterday, just, anyway, it was a thing. But I made myself a very high protein um, breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you wanna call it. Got ham, peppers, cheese, eggs, um, some little smashed potatoes, and I've got a protein milk to drink. I'm trying to decide if I should just go ahead and eat out here. I don't have any computer, well I was trying to work on computer work and I'm listening to a podcast that's like five hours long. <laughs> it's super interesting. I listened to a two and a half hour one yesterday while Ashley was at her cheer. Um, and then I came home and my husband was like, Jason was like, you didn't listen to the first half? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you listen to the second half. He's like, there's another one. It was five hours long before the one you watched, or I watch it. It's podcast put onto YouTube, but um, anyway, so I'm kind of listening to that and trying to come up with things to do so that I can just sit and listen to that. Um, so I've just been working on a few computer things, but I'm gonna hurry and eat this while it's still hot. But um, let me show you what I am kind of dreading. I'm gonna show it to you to hold myself accountable. <sighs> Those got pulled out like a week ago, and I promised Ashley that we'd put up Halloween decorations, at least outside. Um, I don't like Halloween, but I would decorate the front porch um, on a good day, and it's rained almost every day, or we were busy. <laughs> and now it's gonna be 70 degrees today, so I told her, I said, we have an hour and a half when you get home from school today. I will start it and prep it, and then We'll work for an hour and a half before you go to cheer tonight. And then since it's so nice outside, it might be a little bit chilly, but the sun is out. Um, can you see it peeking through? Uh, nope. Uh, I'm gonna do my walk outside today, go to the trails, get outside, be in that sunshine, because it's very rare for us to have this sunshine um, going into the fall and the winter. So I'm gonna enjoy my little breakfast here, um, trying to re, get back into this habit of having high protein um, meals once or twice a day, actually twice a day. And then I stocked up the freezer, I'll, I'll show you later. I stocked that up with a whole bunch of protein creamies and I did one for Abby. I'm gonna make her a protein milkshake tonight if she wants it. Um, so we've got like four in the fridge. I went through a whole bottle of Fairlife. I bought two yesterday. Um, I went through a whole bottle and just made a whole bunch of creamies so I'm no longer tempted. I've had snacks at night for the past like two weeks, including like on our vacation. And I've got to stop having the snacks at night. I've got to have protein if I want a snack and then I need to go to bed. So we're just trying to get back on track here. All right, I just don't have any desire to decorate for Halloween. I have all this stuff and it's all really, really cute. Um, but I just, I don't. So I got these cute bags last year. I'll give those to Chelsea and Ashley for trick-or-treating. I don't know where the other one is. Um, but that one is really cute for trick-or-treating. But I think what I'm gonna do is just outside. I might try and hang these little witch hats from the ceiling. And then I've got some cobwebs. I am not gonna use that guy. Um, so I've got those cobwebs and then I got these ones at Target the other day and I want to try and keep it in one continuous thing and spread it out. Um, maybe that'll be easier and it'll look more cohesive. And then I have that black um, drapey thing. It's not an actual like, uh, what do you call it, cobweb, but it's like, I kind of want to drape it from the ceiling of our front porch and just kind of, and, and maybe across the doorway. See how it's just kind of, it is cobwebby. But I'm kind of thinking I just wanna, I'm gonna need Jason's help and a ladder. But I kind of wanna just do something like hooking it up here somehow. We have Christmas lights on still. How did I not realize they're still in the house? Oh, and we got booed. <laughs> um, draping that up 
there and then having it drape across the window here and then maybe across the doorway like so when they come trick-or-treating this is actually like kind of covered over um kind of make it kind of creepy so that I come to the door and I'm behind it from the other side of the doorway um and I know that our porch is just very bare so I think we're just gonna fill it with the cobwebs put the cobwebs all across here I tend to leave my dead plants <laughs> for the cobwebs because they're great things for the cobwebs to hang on to so that's why they're still there otherwise they're gonna go into yard waste um and then the other set of lights that I wanted, we'd like to hook them to this tree out here, even though our HOA says I can't, because that tree is technically not on my property. But I do it for Halloween night so that the kids can see our house and know that we are open for business. We have like a little sidewalk. It's a st steep little hill. But I like to drape it across from these two trees here um, so that they know to come up here. Um, and come trick-or-treating they can't see your house lights from down on the street so um, I think the cobwebs and that black drape are actually gonna do all the decorations for us <laughs> and then Ashley wants to get caution tape so I might go and grab that at the dollar store when I'm down there um, during her cheer anyway I think I don't think Ashley's gonna be disappointed that I didn't pull more out because like oh I did do this little section I'll show you that here and that's not spooky stuff and she only wants to decorate with spooky stuff outside and I have all cutesy stuff so it is what it is see that's what I got at Target they're like three dollars each four dollars four dollars each so I've got two of these so if I do them on each side of the house like the yard I think it'll actually go really really far if we really stretch it like cobwebs are supposed to be stretched it'll actually go pretty far so Luckily, that's all I have to do. I mean, I could, I'll, I'll go ahead and stuff those back in and get the lids on them. I can't put them away because they go up on a high shelf. Um, also, this is probably my all time favorite Halloween decoration I've ever bought. And that will go on the porch. Um, I usually just set it by the front door to let kids know that they can trick or treat here. Um, and then when we are done, and don't have any more candy or we're turning up the lights I take that in so maybe I will I don't know I think that one so that is I've got a little um, garland going there and then my 31 is really cute I have kind of put cobwebs and spiders and little googly eyes on that guy and then I have a little ghost over here so he's kind of cute so maybe I'll just kind of set this guy just right down there kind of cute just there in the corner that's all I want to do I'm gonna have to like revamp the whole shelf for Christmas which I'm excited about I am already like gearing up for our Christmas party for church even though we haven't had our Halloween party having our first committee meeting tomorrow with my co-chair so I already have Christmas on my brain and with Abby's surgery in December I have to get Christmas brain on way early so that I can take care of her in December. So it's gonna be nice when I go on a walk. Just saving my time because there's gonna be so much time later on. So I have an hour and a half until Ashley gets home and I have only this video to edit. So, oh, I guess I do have one more, one more decoration. You guys already seen this. This is all I have, that's all I've done. Abby has made a few more trinkets. I think she took her pink one upstairs. She made this cute little vase. She's like, I don't think it's waterproof. <laughs> so don't put water in it. But she's going to put some fake flowers in it. And then, oh, she took her other one upstairs. It was a cute little, like, jewelry ring holder. That was really cute. All right. So as soon as she gets home, we're going to, you know, dash and put out some cobwebs. But one, it's hard to do alone. And two, she just, she, that's what she wants to do. So I'm going to let her <laughs> take part in it. Mom, 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 can we get decorations? Can we decorate? Can we decorate? Yeah, child. That's literally what I have. She's like, why is there a chair right there? <laughs> I swear, I know how to read you like a book before you're even home. Why is that there? So that it's not tangled up. Okay, let's go out and do the cobwebs first. I hate the feeling it's cold. I know, so do I. So I love you, and I'm doing this for you, with you. 
We're gonna try and stretch one as far as we can make it go without cutting it. 15 feet. All right, so we've gotten the first one. I think we did a pretty good job. Um, normally we did small patches, but I, this one just kind of looks cool where it's a very large patch. And I like when it like waves in the wind and stuff. And then hopefully we have lights that will add like the dimension with the white or with the cobwebs. And it is important this tree is done. <laughs> it's all on the ground, which means we need to uh, rake it up. But Okay, now we're working on this side. Got it hooked up in that corner. We need to just bring it down here, actually, to the pole. I'm stuck on this stupid thing. I hate it. <laughs> I think we're just going to let this be wispy, and then we'll start pulling this around the pole over here. All right, we may have used males, but we're just not going to talk about it. Exactly. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to tell him that we couldn't find his hammer because he never knows how to put it away yeah. in the toolbox, right? Yeah. So we may have had to use some kind of a wrench or something. And I can't show you the right side of it because that's where the address is on the house. But this is what it looks like over here across the door. And yes, it is up to here on me. <laughs> But it kind of makes it fun. Um, here, go show them on the other side. When they come and knock at the door for Halloween, when I'm standing there, I'm obviously going to be taller than her. And so I hand out the candy and my face is all woo behind that. And then I hand the candy out underneath it. Yeah. So that's that kind of fun. Oh, yeah, you can show that side. Okay, thank you. She's my little address cover upper. So we just have it draped up there. I think it looks good for now. I think once you add kind of creepy lights, that's really when it comes to play. We'll see what it looks like tonight. Why don't we go ahead and, um, well, yeah, we can get those lights hooked up. We'll go get an extension cord. Oh, the spider's falling? Yeah, What is, Douglet? Yeah. You named it Douglet? Yeah. This is her spider, Douglet. We've attached him there. And this is Junior Douglet. He's out here yeah. on this one. We have a mascot in our group. You gotta get down. It's get down. It's Doug. Doug in, little tweet. Okay. So Doug, first name, tweet, male name, and then Okay. Little as the Okay. Name. If we have lights out here at night, I think it'll add to the spookiness. But our house lights only have one color on them. So that's why I wanted to have some color changing ones. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do not want to come out here within like minutes of needing to get out the door. I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like going. I'm just gonna drop her off, come back home, sit on my phone. And then my better judgment got me. And I was like, then go be on your phone on a trail. So I have. I've been on TikTok, I've been finishing up that podcast, which I did. Finished a five hour podcast today with laundry and decorating and I uh, can't do dishes. That's another story, our disposal is broken. But maybe if I have Jason do another disposal video, we'll have a high, highly viewed um, video again. Because his, I mean, I can do all these videos about Hawaii all I want. He does one disposal video. How to fix a disposal. It's up to 80,000 views. It's made like $900 in the couple years it's been up. I'm like, <laughs> can I get that for all the effort I put into my videos? But he might... Do a video about how to change a disposal on whatever day off he has next, which I don't, I don't know. <sighs> so I just got out here on the trail and it's been nice. I've been trying to actually stay in the sun. I'm going back kind of into town and off the trail, but I was kind of doing a loop over there so I could stay in the sun. It's nice in the shade. But I just wanted that sun on my shoulders. I just wanted to like remember what Hawaii was like. <laughs> Cause these sunny days here are very rare. We are having a nice fall, but they're going to come to a close very soon. So I'm very glad I came. I'm not gonna stay out the whole time Ashley's at cheer, but it does feel good. I've only walked like, we're coming up on two miles so far but I'm up to probably three and a half miles for the day. 
Oh, there's people behind me. That's awkward. So I might walk through the neighborhoods and town a little bit to be in the sun and then maybe like another two miles or so. Um, and then I'll go home. I have the ingredients to make tomato soup. It may sound stupid, but I've never made tomato soup. And I don't know why it sounds so good with cheese toast, but I keep seeing it on TikTok. And it looks so good with this roasted garlic tomato recipe. But Jason can't even have tomatoes. He can't do it. It's like the, he has like anti-inflammatory issues with tomatoes. People think I'm so strange when I have a camera out. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, so Jason can't even eat tomatoes. And he doesn't do red sauces anymore. Um, and so I'm literally going to make it for myself. I might see if Abby will just try it with some cheese toast. Um, try a bite of mine, I mean, like dunk dunking it. Because if she could eat tomato soup... Um, after her surgery, that's so many nutrients. I could even like put blended up carrots in it and get some extra like veggies in there. Um, side note, finally, after two and a half, almost three weeks of me calling the hospital to schedule Abby's surgery, they finally called me back. So I called three different numbers, left five different voicemails, and I got like the worst news. I got a date that is absolutely awful to have her surgery. And it does not give her enough time to heal before she has to go back to school. So I just I kind of railed into him. And I was like, you guys didn't call me when you opened this schedule. Like, that's on you guys. She's like, well, I can call a doctor and ask him and he'd have to get approval to open up another day for another operating room. Okay, do it. I haven't even told Abby or Jason yet. I'm not going to until I get a call back from her tomorrow. Which I was like, and you're gonna call me back, right? Cause it's taken three weeks for you guys to call me. She's like, yeah, you've been leaving messages on other lines. And yet no one calls me back. If it's the wrong number, call me back and tell me it's the wrong, the right number and transfer me to where I need to go. Um, so frustrating. So, I'm hoping to hear back from them tomorrow. I'll update you tomorrow and I'll tell Jason tomorrow. <laughs> so, that was frustrating today. Everything 